Good morning and a happy Sunday to you all. This is Health Hour by Apollo 24-7 and we get you experts from Apollo Hospital and Apollo 24-7 to a live show every Sunday, 11 to 12. You can join us and ask your questions and queries that you've been postponing to visit a physician or an expert. And if you want to participate in the show today, we're going to talk about diarrhea in children and adults and how to manage it. So if you want to ask any questions, I request you to come on, hop on to YouTube chat and then uh, type your question there. You must be watching this on Facebook pages of uh, multiple Facebook pages of Apollo Hospitals and my Facebook page as well. But you want your query to be answered, I request you all to come and join us on Apollo 24-7's uh, YouTube channel. Also subscribe, like and uh, keep with, be with us so that you can get a lot of information and information as you know is power. Today we are going to, to speak to two experts and also on this show you can ask your questions. You can win prizes from Apollo Hospitals by participating in a health quiz. Also, we're going to give away discount vouchers towards the end of the show. Chaliye, shuru karte hai. Aaj ka topic hai diarrhea. So, what is diarrhea and children mein aur adults mein kya farak hota hai? Kaise manage karte hai? Humare experts se milte hai. Aaj ke humare pehle expert hai. Dr. Ashish Chauhan ji, who's a general physician from Apollo Hospitals, Sikandrabad, Telangana, jinke 20 saal plus ka experience hai. Indian Medical Association, Thyroid Society of India, Christian Medical Association of India ke professional memberships hai and sir specializes in diabetes and adult immunization. He is very well um, awarded in, uh, um, uh, for his wonderful work uh, to contribution to the medical field. And let's meet Dr. Ashish Chauhan today, our Indywood Medical Excellence Award 2016, Vedish Shri Award, where the Shiromani Award Certification of Excellence, Lions Club International 21-22 ka uh, award bhi hai. So here's Dr. Ashish Chauhanji. Good morning, sir. Wonderful having you on the show. Good morning, ma'am. It's absolutely a blessing to see you and you know be here on this function and program of yours. You know you make it very yes. very lively. So I'm very much sure majority of people join to see you rather than for the education and the other things. information is power and you guys are superpowers. Thank you so much for joining us this Sunday morning. Yeah, and then let me also introduce our wonderful guest who's going to join us in a bit, Dr. Ranjit Kumar Joshi, Senior Consultant, Pediatrics, Neonatology, Apollo Hospitals, Bhumaneshwar, Odisha, se, Sir, join kar rahe. Jinka Bara Sal Plus ka experience hai and Sir ke professional memberships hai, Indian Medical Association, Association of Medical Consultants and Indian Academy of Pediatrics and a lot of awards and achievements, fellowship from the Indian Academy of Pediatrics, IAP, uh, and sir can be consulted uh, uh, for all of these causes, viral diarrhea, disease of children, thyroid in children, nutritional assessments and diabetes in children and a lot of other uh, issues in children that sir can be consulted for. And here we have Dr. Ranjit Kumar Joshi. Sir, very good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. Thank, Thank you. you. Wonderful. So, uh, Dr. Joshi, I think this is uh, one of the rare uh, appearances that we get from Bhuneshwar, Odisha, say one or two uh, specialists that we have got all this while. So, it's always good to see somebody from your part of the state, sir. Thank you. Because Thanks a lot. We have a, we do have a lot of participation from Odisha as well. And then, aaj ke humare, uh, viewers want to ask something in Odia and if I can't read the script, I will require your help. Agar aap unki, aap Definitely. Yes, that will be wonderful. Thank you, sir. Welcome once again. And here we have both our doctors, Dr. Ashish Chauhan and Dr. Ranjit Kumar Joshi. Wonderful having you both. Chali, pehla mein, I want to understand what can be defined as diarrhea. Dekhi, rose ka hum log jo download karte hai, wo normal hai. Diarrhea kise bolte hai? Ab kab wo concern ki baat ho jati hai? Dr. Ashish, will you please give us an understanding? And what is diarrhea and what can be called as a problematic uh, situation? Sure. Um, diarrhea or acute or a chronic gastroenteritis, these are two terminologies to be understood. Um, the simple language is when you have a loose tools which are increased in frequency, we call it as a diarrhea. And definitely needs to be defined and described on the individual basis. Because yes, stool frequency is, is individualistic to one person's body. And if a patient himself accepts that he is having increased frequency of bowel movements, that is diarrhea. On a rough basis, we say you must pass stools once in three days or three times in a day is normal on a rough basis. 
बट वो तो पेटेशन Yes, yes, it's on, it's on the pendulum side. So if people believe that every day they should go to the toilet and and have bowel moments, uh, in a way, uh, uh, not really because it's different from every individual. So once in three days or three times in one day is acceptable, but it's subjective. The patient himself believes that he has got a more frequency than the usual one. Then that's a, 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 a diarrhea, and that needs to be addressed upon. सो लूज स्टूल होता है एंड देन फ्रीक्वेंसी अगर पेशेंट को लगता है ज्यादा है वो डायरिया बनता है तो दिस इज एन अडल्ट तो आई हैव अ पीडियाट्रिशियन हियर सो आई वुड वांट टू आस्क डॉक्टर रंजीत जोशी कि बचपन में बिकॉज़ आई हैव बीन अ मदर एंड आई हैव सीन दैट दिस इज अ ग्रेट कॉज ऑफ वरी इन चिल्ड्रन तो कब बोला जा सकता है कि बच्चों में डायरिया या डिसेंट्री है एंड व्हाट इज द कॉज दैट कैन बी यू नो ये नेक्स्ट लेवल है हाथ से जा रहा है आई नीड टू कंसल्ट अ स्पेशलिस्ट व्हेन इज दैट डेफिनेटली मैम सो एज डॉक्टर आशीष हैज टोल्ड दैट देयर इज इंक्रीज इन फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड चेंज इन कंसिस्टेंसी ऑफ द स्टूल सो बेसिकली इन अ न्यू बोर्न द पेंडुलम स्विंग्स मोर लाइक इफ द न्यू बोर्न इज पासिंग नाइन टाइम्स पर डे इज आल्सो नॉर्मल and if the new one is passing once in 5 days 7 days that is also in normal oh. so that depends on the age of the baby and if the mother has noticed any change in the bowel habit suppose the child is passing once daily normal stool and the mother will complain that the child is passing more number of stool 5 to 6 times per day and the consistency has changed than before so in case of older children number of passage of stool the consistency of the stool that is most important to designate it as a diarrhea or dysentery Gee. so basically diarrhea what we tell that diarrhea and dysentery the so basically the mucoid stool sometimes we find infectious stool of bacterial origin we termed it as a dysentery or bacillary dysentery yeah. or bloody dysentery and many a times we are seeing kids with normal loose motions without any systemic symptoms like a 5 year old baby now as days with this season if the baby is passing more number of stools liquid in character without any systemic symptoms that is loose motion or acute diarrhea of most likely viral origin okay सो हियर डॉक्टर और डॉक्टर आशीष जो समझ में आता है कि फ्रीक्वेंसी जो है वो एवरी इंडिविजुअल न्यू बॉर्न से लेकर एल्डरली पर्सन तक एवरी इंडिविजुअल हैज देयर ओन बॉडीज क्लॉक बट दो सीजंस एंड देन द द काइंड ऑफ लोड दैट वी हैव अ वायरल लोड और द बैक्टीरियल लोड और द लाइफस्टाइल चॉइसेस दैट वी हैव व्हाट आर द थिंग्स दैट प्ले ऑन अस दैट वी 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 स्विंग अ पेंडुलम टू फास्टर टू स्लो Uh, ma'am a lot many things and especially besides the disease itself just uh, 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 emotions itself make lot and lot of difference so you have a viral illness covid primarily is presenting nowadays with loose stools and vomiting and it it's not having even a breathless and cough so that's a different manifestation of covid itself in this season when again the numbers have started going up and you can have a, a loose stools just because you have an exam tomorrow so every teenage boy or any child you know um, any time your boss uh, your boss and bv is angry you will get loose stool so these all things are are uh, emotional part of it that is always there but yes ab bv ko nahi chhodenge sir ma'am wo wo, wo lambi kahani hai baad mein baat karenge but it is all about ki, ki what are the symptoms along with it so if you have a frequency which has increased uske sath pet mein dard ho raha hai बुखार है या यू आर फीलिंग ट्रिमेंडसली टायर्ड टू स्टूल्स और डायरिया अलोन कैन बी अ सिम्टम्स ऑफ हार्ट अटैक आल्सो सो पीपल इट्स वेरी वेरी टफ टू टेल हां इट्स वेरी टफ टू टेल देम कि यार मेरे को लूज स्टूल्स और वॉमिटिंग हो रहा है इंफीरियर वॉल एमआई हार्ट अटैक प्रेजेंट्स ओनली विद लूज स्टूल्स एंड वॉमिटिंग एंड टू टेल देम कि भाई वी आर डूइंग इट ईसीजी बिकॉज़ इट कैन बी हार्ट अटैक इट्स वेरी टफ टू कन्विंस द पेशेंट्स एंड नाउ इट इज गूगलर्स टीच अस सर वो तो अननेसेसरी ईसीजी कर रहे हैं हमको तो जस्ट हैव ओनली लूज टूल्स एंड वॉमिटिंग सो पीपल हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड 
one symptom can be because of 1000 diseases and one disease can present in a 1000 different ways so you have to trust your hmm. doctor and, and all the tests whatever he says so exactly so here uh, dr anjit i'll come back to the same question for a pediatric as well ki hamare jo aapne bataya ki dysentery ho sakta hai bacterial ho sakta hai ya viral ho sakta hai bachcho mein ye hone ki sambhavna zyada hote hain ya aajkal ke jo sir ne bataya ki covid ka itna sara we don't even understand which form it is coming so what is the role of covid virus on newborns or uh, young children uh in this covid era we are seeing a lot of babies with covid also as dr asis has told the covid can be presented like loose stool and fever also okay and in children as majority well. of the children right majority of the children less than 5 year old they are presented with viral episodes viral diarrhea multiple times can be 5 to 6 times per year so viral infections are nowadays rampant recurrent viral infection recurrent diarrhea so many a viral infections are there which can cause severe diarrhea and needing hospitalization for iv fluids if in case of severe dehydration so basically the covid can be presented with symptoms of diarrhea also okay great dr ashish so while we talk about you know covid bacterial infections lifestyle choices and everything else there is something else that i would want your attention here debashish mukherjee ke question ke sath main audience ke questions pe shuru kar leti hu my wife is 65 year old and she suffers from ibs any treatment please and i understand that this is a long continuous process of ibs irritable bowel syndrome can you please throw light on this um there is very easily a uh, treatment available first and foremost you need to stick to one doctor who you are comfortable with ibs irritable bowel syndrome is directly related to one person psyche like emotional outburst and stress and other issues and gets worsen whenever there is a acute infection of any nature so for uh, getting the treatment from ibs usually people get it through a gastroenterologist only and sticking to that gastroenterologist is important so what has happened which we feel uncomfortable is yeah i think you we are facing a technical challenge from dr ashish uh, uh, dr ashish chauhan sir so uh, can you try repeating uh, uh, one sentence behind what is un- uncomfortable is yeah a patient who's got a uh, ibs symptom should stick to one doctor who he is comfortable with number one number two is they have to understand that going to a doctor may not need medication always majority say i am an internal medicine md medicine but most of the times i only do psychology support and i say them take a take one just vibat or one of those you know lactobacillus and that is enough so the biggest issue is patients understanding that yes majority of the good amount of treatment can be done without the medication only by counseling and patient has to uh, accept the disease and understand what doctor is trying to uh, to accept otherwise people with ibs or majority ye, ye stress ke sath kafi nata hai gut pain access ka yes. nata zyada hai yahan par is what i have understood that's what i am trying to tell you say one thing i would want to leave here and for majority people to understand first and foremost stress controls every organ in our body heart brain even kidney and bowel movements and bowel movements definitely isiliye everybody who is going for an interview everybody who is going for an examination they get a, you know frequent uh, stools bowel hota hai yeah they might have so an urgency way. of bowel movement yeah so Doctor, i think I you should take, take have a sip of water please i think uh, you're having a bowel yes, cough do, please do I have do. a sip of water doctor yeah and in the meanwhile uh, while i wait for dr ashish chauhan to uh, recover uh, dr ranjit that here's a question from from adwe uh, unka beta 18 month old hai what are the precautions that i can take for diarrhea in children basically the diarrhea the viral diarrhea that transmits in the fomites if the child is going to any play group or child is being uh, contaminated with uh, different objects so basically the diarrhea is viral diarrhea that transmitted by the fomites so oh. for most and most important thing is maintenance of the hand hygiene so hand irrespective hygiene. of covid so irrespective covid. of covid 
ऑल वायरल डिजीजेस ट्रांसमिट थ्रू हैंड्स ओनली सो वी शुड प्रिवेंट द हैंड टू बी पुट इनसाइड द माउथ इन द बेबीज एंड मेंटेन द हैंड हाइजीन एंड होम हाइजीन दैट इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज ऑल दीज थिंग्स कैन बी ट्रांसमिटेड इन फोमाइट्स and most and four impo- uh, most important thing i would like to stress upon here whatever may be the cause of the diarrhea or loose stool first and four in- foremost is the maintenance of the hydration hydration so right ors ors oral rehydration salt certified by who is the main stay of treatment in okay. all cases of diarrhea अडल्ट हो या बच्चे हो रिहाइड्रेट करना रिहाइड्रेशन सॉल्स के साथ करना बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है इफ आई रिमेंबर ऑल चाइल्डहुड डेज वी यूज टू हैव सो मच ऑफ दीज एडवर्टाइजमेंट ऑन द पब्लिक टेलीविजन कि क्या किया जाए और एटलीस्ट सिंपल अगर कुछ हाथ में नहीं आया तो शुगर और सॉल्ट करके पानी दे दो करके रिमेंबर वो कैंपेन बहुत चलता था करेक्ट मैम सो वेन एवर वी आर नॉट गेटिंग try for homemade ors but the certified ors is the best one so most exactly. even if the child has passed 10 times 15 times loose motion if we will maintain the hydration the child will be active and till we consult a pediatrician we can maintain the hydration that is the most important thing so do aapne baat batayi hai ki ye jo hai ek se ek bacche se ek bacche tak फोमाइट के रूप से बोले तो वो हर जगह फैल जाता है हाथ से मुंह तक आ जाता है तो सबको लग सकता है तो पहले हैंड वॉश करवाइए बच्चों के साथ और दूसरा रिहाइड्रेट कीजिए और वो ओ आर सॉल्ट के साथ कीजिए टिल द टाइम दैट यू मेड अप डिटाइड्रेशन यस डॉक्टर आशीष जी वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आई बी एस एंड देन हाउ स्ट्रेस कंटिन्यूज टू प्ले अग यस देर आर मैनी कॉजेज ऑफ डायरिया राइट फ्रॉम द हार्ट राइट फ्रॉम द एबडोमल प्रॉब्लम to the psychiatric problem and to many more even cancer can present also with the loose stools so first okay. and foremost for everybody to understand my beloved viewers is whenever you have an issue reach out to a doctor earlier before it is too late number 1 number 2 is definitely ors is what uh, dr ranjit has told because one of the biggest discovery of the millennium is ors majority of my patients adults as well as pediatric patients who used to die they are only surviving just because of that salt sugar uh, sugar solution you know the biggest biggest thing we are in diabetes we are talking a lot about sglt2 inhibitors as an sglt1 inhibitor is something which is in the gut which increases so a plain pani nahi peena hai is samay summers ka mausam aa raha hai i will tell everybody not only to carry water with them wherever they go and that water has to have a very small amount of uh, sugar and salt in it and uska taste bahut aasani kaise keh sakte hain ki aapka wo jaise aansu ke taste hote hain तो वो वो एक टेस्ट होना चाहिए एंड दैट इज इजी वन टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड दैट विल बी मोस्ट ऑफ टाइम्स मैनेजेबल वन वर्ड आई वुड वांट टू लीव इट आउट हियर बिफोर आई गिव द क्वेश्चंस टू यू इज फोर आर्स टू बी अंडरस्टूड इफ यू हैव अ लूज टूल्स एंड वॉमिटिंग फोर आर्स नंबर वन इज रेस्ट नंबर टू इज रिहाइड्रेशन नंबर थ्री इज रिपोर्ट डू द इन्वेस्टिगेशन वॉट एवर डॉक्टर टेल्स यू नंबर फोर इज रीअश्योरेंस इट कैन बी कोविड it can be heart it can be a normal you know a sun stroke kind of thing in all these things rest rehydration reassurance reports will help you out the only thing is stay away from googling and going with your own treatment ki uh, somebody else has told you or google has told you which is scary yeah so ibs ke bare mein bhi debashish ji i think you don't need to worry and you continue whatever you are uh, uh, one physician and you continue and most of it is about stress तो स्ट्रेस फैक्टर निकालिए एंड दैट्स आशीष चौहान जी का मंत्र है स्ट्रेस फ्री दे रहिएगा आंसू बहाइए मत आंसू के टेस्ट में पानी देते जाइएगा डन तो फिर रंजीत यू हैव अ क्वेश्चन एंड लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर आस्किंग अबाउट न्यू बोर्न डायरिया द क्वेश्चन इज या कामिनी 25 29 ईयर ओल्ड फीमेल है बट न्यू बोर्न इज हैविंग लूज टूल्स व्हाट आर द पॉसिबल कॉजेस in a newborn with exclusive breastfeeding there can be transitional stool where the newborn will pass multiple times of motion whenever the mother is feeding the baby 
that is called gastrocolic reflex so many a times the in panic the mother bring the baby that whenever i am giving breastfeeding the baby is passing stool that is a normal gastrocolic reflex so nothing to be in panic in that situation and most important thing i would like to stress upon that to the breastfeed mother just to give breastfeed for one from one side for at a stretch for 20 to 25 minutes till you feel that the breast is completely empty because the initial part of the breast milk is little bit thin watery like that is the fore milk and the hind milk that is coming later on that is energy dense and rich and that is little bit thicker if the newborn will take in the take the first only from this side and from opposite side the newborn will end up in taking water only and in those cases there are chances of loose stool okay very valid suggestion doctor and very important that our mothers understand it's not about feeling light but it is about feeding right wonderful tip there thank you both of you next question i would want to direct to dr ashish chauhan kandasami ramnathan ji 75 year old male hai gerd ke sath safar karte hai gerd ke sath i am on a strict high fiber plan diet for last 6 years recently stools are not usual brown shade soft with clay and yellow color any test that i can do reach out to your physician say so should not take the advice online uh, if i have to honestly suggest that at 75 years old gentleman there are million causes and if i see him as a elderly of my family i would not want to experiment reach out to your physician who is available for you for your age again it can be an infection it can be a heart it can be not to scare you it can be even a malignancy also or a, or a cancer so let your doctor decide it the only thing is don't question his uh, uh, the investigations which he is writing it he's he's regularly has something in his mind and please do all those investigations but definitely for everybody who is watching this program doing a regular health check up whenever there is a doubt is always a great idea so that you don't miss out any time yeah i must appreciate mr ramnathan ji for being aware ki ye change hai mera regular uh, bowel movement se ye change hai ye he is observing that that itself is going to help him and what kind of investigation your physician will help please keep an aware uh, consciously aware rehna bahut hi important hai so that's wonderful dr ranjit next question is about a 5.5 year old son inka naam mujhe diya nahi hai but the 5 5 and a half year old son 5.5 year that is must be 5 and a half uh, mostly tight bowel movement daily i feel he had to put up pressure sometimes he also has pain on the left side this is on other end of pendulum yeah so in this age group that she has mentioned that is 5.5 year mostly the functional constipation are predominant because the kid withheld the bowel movement so i would like to i would like to stress upon three things one is daily passage of stool in sitting position not in standing position ha aajkal ke diaper ke bacche ho gaye unko kahan khada hona hai kahan ke kidhar kya karna hai bataye nahi kyunki diaper hai protective <laughs> government hai exactly. so we have so, my my advice will be start toilet training starting from 2 years of age i mean to say 2 plus age of year and start giving toilet training immediately after a meal ask the kid to sit in the potty sit for 2 to 3 times a day after a major meal second important thing is type of food the roughage many a times the mother are doing grinding that is the most worst thing that we are facing nowadays all the kids they are taking the grinding food so from the beginning chabane ka zarurat hi nahi hai ekdam acha naram khana dete hain usme fiber fiber to hai hi nahi usme to simple thing ek jan juice piyega ek jan fruits khayega jo juice piyega usko constipation hoga jo fruits khayega usko acha poti hoga right simple तो फूड हैबिट में चेंज करना है वी नीड टू इंक्रीज द फाइबर कंटेंट ऑफ द फूड फ्रेश वेजिटेबल्स फ्रूट्स दाल पानी सलाड्स ये सब ज्यादा फाइबर होते हैं तो ये फूड हैबिट में चेंज करना है 
टॉयलेट ट्रेनिंग देना है एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट ऑल अलोंग दिस इफ द चाइल्ड स्टिल हैविंग प्रेशर इन द स्टूल और स्क्रीमिंग ड्यूरिंग डिफिकेशन वी शुड कंसल्ट ए पेडेटिशियन फॉर स्टॉपनर That is association so, with psychology. Sorry, cut. Hua hai apka awaz. So uh, it's an indication for what? Stool softener, because Achha. all these things are associated. If the child will pass every day good motion, the psychology will be different, and the kid will accept to going to potty daily. Ha, na to wo under ke baare mein band kar lega. So all three things are important. जो अनकंट्रोलेबल स्टमक है लास्ट फाइव डेज से ये एक मेडिसिन देते हैं This is one one. Eighteen times of loose stools. He needs to get admitted. Elderly with these many amounts of loose stools can be anything in any moment. He can go into dehydration. Rather, take my words. He needs admission into ICU. So people need to understand when I use the word ICU is the ICU is for the sick patients. Answer is uh, not rightly. ICU is a place to prevent people becoming sick. Preventively, take the patient who are about to go into sepsis into ICU. So that's what is needed to be understood. Elderly, we need to handle with a word of caution, and they can any time slip into the seriousness as well as even uh, with full respect to the everybody who is listening. We can lose patient very very fast also. So we should not uh, wait about it. And any time you have stools which are more than five times in a day. I think you should just run to get admitted. This is not a time to experiment and and trials at home. All right, and especially not with that age, ah, huh? octogenarian and eighty-eight plus. I I don't think that's the age yes. where they wait and uh, give medication at home. That, that's very But, right because any moment they can collapse, and that exactly. could be a scary thing for anybody, the uh, bystanders to handle it. And especially, I would want to say with the caution here. Majority of these elderly people say that sir, घर में कोई नहीं है. That's why we don't want to get admitted. The answer should be that घर में कोई नहीं है. Then hundred percent we should get admitted because yes. And the same thing again. A uh, uh, elderly couple says that sir, घर में कोई नहीं है. सिर्फ wife है या husband है. अगर घर में कोई नहीं है और सिर्फ wife and husband है, तो they themselves will have a heart attack because you are worsening. So agar if it is a single person elderly staying outside or if it is a couple who is staying outside they should get admitted even when it is not needed as per their own calculation but you must listen to your doctor wonderful thank you so much sir next is kirti sopa kirti's question is uh, to dr ranji sir uh, can you please tell us about irti in children below 10 years Uh, is it a condition of emergency to admit in the hospital? Is it necessary to give uh, antibiotics? Can I treat this at home naturally? What is IRTI, sir? RTI, respiratory think... tract infection. RTI. Oh, right? it's not IRTI. Okay, RTI. Okay. So that 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 she has mentioned RTI, respiratory tract infection. So I hope the, that is so basically. Really? Are you asking us uh, the same thing, Kirti? Can you please type again? In the meanwhile, Doctor Ranjit, you can continue answering. Yeah. Respiratory infection. The time of admission is whenever the child is in respiratory distress. The so common cold is also a RTI, and wheezing are also RTI respiratory infection. So whenever the child is suffering from low respiratory infection, and there is a dyspnea, breathlessness, or child is unable to breathe properly, there is chest pain in older children. and if you are having some pulse oximeter at home and you are seeing that the pulse oximeter reading is not going beyond 90 so at that time we should consult immediately to the emergency nearby hospital and consult a pediatrician for admission so respiratory distress unable to take breath these are the condition where we can go for admission in respiratory tract infection Okay, and uh, sir, to continue, uh, uh, Smita's question to Dr. Ranjit. So, how much ORS can I give in pediatric age group? Yes. So it depends on the number of stool, the liquidity of the stool. 
so every time the child is passing stool you should compensate the nearby amount of liquid in the stool just an assessment if the child has passed three or four times continuously uh, suppose i'll take uh, a five year old child so we need to compensate the amount of liquid has that has been lost from the body over a period of half an hour through ors so around 50 to 100 ml in a smaller child per stool okay wonderful that's an easy way to remember well kirti has uh, has replied it is a lrti that's a lower respiratory tract in infection yeah yeah right. done i think so that that i have explained right. yeah you've explained that so uh, in in addition to dr ashish to the uh, the hydration ke bare mein ramya is asking when nausea vomiting are also uh, 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 present along with loose stools taking uh, the salt water and others uh, rehydration kaafi hai how do is that enough or how do i rehydrate further a very good question i am i'm very happy to have somebody like them questioning uh, at this time with where we came out of covid and again covid has started every house should have a bp sugar temperature and saturation machine at home putting everything together is available for less than 5000 rupees and we can order on 247 also so first is everybody should have these instruments at home and they should regularly i will talk about primarily the adults i'll talk about diabetics and hypertensives so if you want to manage at home first and foremost you get a gut feeling you want to get admitted you should get admitted short quick admissions please get my word short quick admissions get admitted tomorrow tomorrow uh, uh, today tomorrow normal day after tomorrow come home is better than reaching icu directly that's one thing to be understood and if you want to manage at home anybody who is sick adult who is sick check bp sugar saturation every day twice if you want to manage at home say please a lot of people wants to tell me that sir i don't have a sugar i don't want to check you know na ko em le do for heaven sake i i do not Uh, uh, become your own doctor, and if you are becoming your own doctor, take the right advice. So anybody who does not have a diabetes, their sugars either go low, or the 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 new uh, the the diabetes gets picked up during a time of infection. So have a BP sugar saturation machine at home. Manage your acute gastroenteritis at home. The answer is four hours rest, rehydration, reassurance, and reports. medication comes very last in the list you only require ors and symptomatic treatment as told to you by your own physician so general question here ki ye jo hum log soda lete hai neembu pani lete hai nariyal pani lete hai chhas lete hai all these how good are they and especially i also would want to turn your attention to the beverages which are sold under the name of health drinks ye aajkal ke jo fizzy drinks aate hai energy drinks ke naam pe jo aate hai these are leading the markets right now after the cola drinks so what are the dangers or what are the positives any one of these please ma ma behan aur wife ke haathon ki bani hui koi bhi drinks aap le lijiye take my words wo aapko sirf aur sirf fayda degi nuksan nahi degi baap obviously husband aap khud apne haath se bhi bana sakte ho and assurance hum de denge ki aapko wo safe hai Yes, so, okay, so आपको जो भी चीज घर में अवेलेबल है गो फॉर इट फॉर साउथ इंडियन नॉर्थ ऑल्सो इट्स अवेलेबल नारियल पानी इज अजिएस्ट ड्रिंक विच इज अवेलेबल एंड यू मस्ट गो फॉर इट ये जो आजकल का कमर्शियल वर्ल्ड है where people are going for these things is is something i wouldn't want to comment about it very simple you are not well take the boiled water of your home even if you don't get the bisleri or anything just boil water at home and usko chhan lijiye agar aap gaon mein hain and and drink that water with a, with a pinch of salt as well as sugar in it but definitely because I'm, we are again in the diabetic capital of the world check your sugars and saturation regularly so that aapki badi hui sugar ko aap aur zyada na badha le that is important to be known and i am very much sure uh, that is enough at this time but yes don't delay in reaching out to out to your doctors where we directly see you only in icu on emergency you need to understand ji 
Ji, Dr. Ranjit, here is a question to you. And in continuation with the drinks that are available, especially the children are the target for the market right now. And uh, once they are addicted to the kind of sugars that they have, let's also discuss about uh, multiple uh, effects of children and these uh, beverages. And here's Neerav Patek's question, which I would want you to address. What is the role of lactose in diarrhea? A any uh, role of lactose causing diarrhea? In adults and children, we'll discuss both of them, but he's asking for pediatrics. So Dr. Ranjish, uh, Ranjit uh, Joshi, first you. See, regarding the health drinks, many a times the parents are coming with giving only the glucose water. Those are hyperosmotic and that can cause more diarrhea. Oh. So we should oh. know, we should go with the proper ORS and proper dilution. You can find two types of ORS packets are there. One is to be mixed in 200 ml, another to be mixed in 1 liter. So mix, mix completely as per the recommendation, not to add half cc in half glass. Those things are not at all recommended. Many a times you will end up in hypertonic saline. Many a times what the mother do, if the recommendation is 200 ml in one share, they will mix in 100 ml approximately half cc that can be a little bit more and that can cause the solution hypertonic and that is a detrimental to the child so my advice will be and rather than i will advise in older children make one liter of bottle and give, give or transfer it to their seeper so that aap beech beech mein unko fill karo aur peete rahe ho ek bar bana diye to aap 2 ghante ke liye rakh sakte ho room temperature mein koi issue nahi hai correct and correct. most important is cola jo baat kar rahe the cola drink and other drink those are not at all recommended for the children because they are sugary drink they are not having any uh, good uh, aspect uh, regarding the child Beautiful. rather than that no, absolutely no nutrition. Zero nutrition and the rather than they will... Yes, Dr. Ranjit, children, chori, even adults can be allowed. Nahi hai. Correct, Dr. Uh, Asis. The addictive in nature. So... Yes, yes. so yes. we should uh, rather discourage taking that those cola drinks or soda water or other like thing. So that you have told the homemates, Dr. Asis has uh, told nicely that the house has made the most important thing. Right. And I would want to reiterate uh, Jhansi ji, Kabhi bhi anybody is having loose tools, dood, chai, pani, juice, patli, khichdi, patli, dalia, because this is the Indian food which is always available in every state. Dood, chai, pani, juice, patli, khichdi, patli, dalia is to be taken. Haan, lactose intolerance and hajar type ke, there are specific things people are having cough, then they say, sir, should we take narial pani or not? Anything your body is not adjusting to it, you can skip that part of it. But re yeah. rehydrating your body is more important and uh, with uh, exception to one or few cases. So, is yeah, lactose intolerance I... per person or yeah, general, hota hai, sir, Dr. Anjit? Yes. So, lactose intolerance basically is what happens is that we have an intestinal jo, uh, mucosal lining and there is a lactase enzyme. Hota hai. So whenever the child is having loose motion or loose tool, there is a loss of the mucosal lining. This may have a lactase enzyme loss and the lactose is properly absorption or digestion. So there is a lactose intolerance in the normal viral diarrhea. There is a minimal lactose intolerance. This is not that that a baby is taking milk and normal food and the lactose intolerance will be closed and you will stop the food. No, it is not like that. So we should promote the normal food, even if the milk also. So when the picture of lactose intolerance come, that is in case of persistent diarrhea. Whenever the diarrhea is persisting more than 15 days and we are not getting a result and we have diagnosed as a persistent diarrhea, then comes the role of lactose intolerance or lactose free diet or lactose, uh, less lactose uh, diet. So this is not for everyone, that's when they, are need, they need to be concerned. Okay. Great. Dr. Ashish, and let's also talk about lactose intolerance in adults. And I also want to uh, continue uh, talking about uh, diarrhea and uh, he was detected with ulcerative colitis a year ago. 
I am unable to manage frequent diarrhea with ulcerative colitis. There are multiple questions of ulcerative colitis and the role of it. Uh, so, uh, Dheera Jirathi is the same question. Hai. Ulcerative colitis hai, last six months. I'm um, on medicines but still have loose uh, motions. He's 43 year old. So, uh, or kiska hai? Uh, Pramit ka bhi same question hai, sir. Frequent motions hai, semi solid hai due to leaky gut and colitis. Food hygiene bhi maintain karte hai, but not able to manage stools. I think you should take up one quick word about adult lactose intolerance and then continue with ulcerative colitis. I, I will address everything uh, one after the other. First Ji. and foremost, I would tell everybody, my dear friends, um, doctors are doctors and the role of what doctor has to do with medicine is different rather than the role which dietitian has to do with the diet i am very happy that in india people give more weightage to the doctors but they ask the diet also to the doctors where their problem comes you the people who have specific diseases like ibd where ulcerative colitis and crohn's disease where people do present with loose tools and sometimes they do present with uh, constipation also all people at this time should specific dietitian's opinion to understand what suits their body so even a people who have a kidney failure they they start asking doctors say so in that bar a dietitian opinion takes half an hour to one hour and you must go to a dietitian who asks you what you are eating it and readjust your diet rather than a dietitian who ends up giving you you know tin box take this thing two times two teaspoons three times a day take this thing three times no 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 the good dietitian never writes a prescription a good dietitian always writes a your diet plan which will be different for a north indian for a east indian and for the south indian and that is the right person to go about it that's one part ulcerative colitis and crohn's disease is an inflammatory bowel disease which needs a specific care when they have already got the diagnosis that means they're already in touch with the gastroenterologist excellent to stick to that gastroenterologist the, the three or four kinds of patients they keep rotating between do different doctors one is ibd patients second is type 1 diabetic patient because they want somebody to tell them a tablet instead of insulin so do not do that one of the biggest thing which we do it is we keep doing the doctor shopping no stick to one doctor who you feel comfortable with then use your google knowledge as per his guidelines he will tell you what all things to check don't check and then reach out to him rather ask him where to check and what to check once you get that kind of guidance you will understand it very well last word is majority of us three of us right now on the screen we all can be having a tuberculosis within our own body every indian has got a hidden tuberculosis within themselves and ulcerative colitis and crohn's disease is a very very common differential diagnosis for the ileocecal tuberculosis also it's a tough diagnosis to be made so do not get carried away you have to help your own clinician to give you right kind of diagnosis and to work accordingly i hope this message gets communicated last word wow. this is a season for the viral gastroenteritis a lot especially not to forget covid again we all are having different phases of covid which is going then coming back again I had a yesterday a patient who called up only with loose tooth and vomiting and he said sir 10 days back i had a covid i became normal and then i went for travel no if you had a covid 10 days back you should not be traveling for one month whatever your blood report says i would want to request all the people all the netizens give your body a time to settle any infection does not take less than one month to settle in your and my body. Don't be in a hurry for your career and run around. Ki, sir, one week pehle tha, ab ho gaya. No, no, no. Labs do not give you 100% correspondent result. Your body needs rest. Last word, especially with the background of health care, we have told. Uh, whosoever majority of deaths who have had, we've had it, all the big people which we can name it, Puneet Rajkumar, KK and Makeup Party Gautam Reddy, the only thing their body needed was rest at home. Please do not yeah. put your words in your 
his mouth and 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 go ahead with the lab reports no the body needs yes, rest sir. rehydration and rest reports wonderful wonderful doctor because i need to i need to quickly sum up what you have said ulcerative colitis is trying to tell you something keep at it go to your uh, physician and continue with your treatment also they must be we had talked about uh, tuberculosis just last week and it is such a rampant and alarming situation that is uh, chasing indians so what we need to address that as well and rest your body after any infection which is major 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 important right now right dr ranjit two questions here for you one children recovery and resting especially after inf infections or inflammations what kind of rest do they require and when they can when can they get back to schools now abhi to summer hai holidays hai to inko summer ke camps ho sakte hai ya thode bacche you know within the community khelte honge inki isolation ki kya zarurat hai rest and recuperation kya hai this is one and this, also this, at the end of it tejas we in saluja puchte hai inke bacche ka age nahi diya hai but constant tummy pain bhi hota hai to summers mein bhi zyada badhta hai kya sir in children and tummy ache इनके बच्चे का पेट में दर्द राइट ओके So because of this uh, stomach upset the appetite will go down so we should uh, be uh, coordinating with the kids what sort of food he or she likes so that we can make it little bit of different uh, type of variety of food so that nutrition can be taken care of and many a times the parents think that the during the diarrhea episode we should rush it food so we shouldn't because this is the period we need to give more nutrition because the nutrition is going out through the diarrheal stool so we need to give more nutrition and regarding the isolation after recovery so basically depending on the what type of disease the child is having if the child is having rti respiratory infection or we have diagnosed with some viral infection like nowadays we are getting adeno entero and uh, influenza and covid also so those uh, needs isolation for at least 7 to 10 days to be again going for uh, ready for school if the child has taken proper nutrition also and that dr asis has told that the symptom will persist for few more days because parents think that the symptom will stop abruptly that is not ah. the scenario many a times if the child is passing nine times per day then again it will go down with six times four times three times so once and it will subside by 7 to 10 days and even after that the child will pass little bit up at times loose stool for next 10 to 15 days also ji ji so ye phase wise jayega to aaram ki zarurat hai and then keep at it well so that's wonderful doctor and uh, your doctor, ne next doctor, next course yeah, yeah uh, next question regarding the tummy ache tummy ache so basically this is a big issue recurrent abdominal pain this is very common in the child and it can be because of million of causes so basic causes if the child the, the tummy pain is not hampering the day to day activity of the child we shouldn't be little bit more serious shouldn't be little bit more serious if the, the tummy pain is hampering the day to day life of the child and child is screaming for with pain and we need to consult immediately a pediatrician regarding the cause of this tummy pain many a times the child can have little bit of tummy pain after each meal older children like 5 to 7 years they will uh, not have uh, the same type of uh, psychology as a younger child because if they will not uh, having the proper food they will tell that yes i am having little bit of tummy pain so this thing to be taken into consideration regarding evaluation of it tummy pain right sir so aapka favorite topic dr ashish chauhan ji i know i'll give you only 2 minutes here because i have only 3 minutes so i know i'm coming towards the end of the show and we're talking about diabetes and uh, uh, diarrhea here's uh, mr shawn david and also somebody else was asking about diabetes may uh, ye common hai kya uh, 
Sorry, wait. Mandira Das. Being a diabetic and gastric problem, can I take warm water? How can I manage this? And uh, Sean David Ji puts there, is it normal to have a diarrhea if you are a diabetic? Yes. Um, diabetes affects intestines in two manners. It primarily 90% causes constipation, 10% it causes diarrhea. If it is causing constipation, laxative they aram mil jata, which is a good idea. But when they have a diabetic diarrhea, wo prob problem ki every one hour or six to seven times in a day they will be passing stools. Ana khaya on toilet ke liye They require uh, you know the the kind of drugs to control those uh, stools, and this again can be anytime be infective without them knowing it so they will need to have a proper specific treatment for this so diabetics should understand whenever they have bowel uh, issues uh, with them they should immediately or rather every day check the sugars whenever the tummy is not fine till the time tummy is not fine all right and this is going to be monitored continuously thank you doctor one last question to dr ranjit i do have a lot of questions but i need to wrap up soon so mahud ali ji puchte hai what, are, what is the role of intestinal worms for diarrhea in children? Yeah, ma'am. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, answer this question and uh, I'll take another 30 seconds for one uh, very good please, message. Sir, please, sir. Please take. So, uh, regarding intestinal worms, because you should know that the how the worms get inside, it is because of the hand hygiene also, same thing. Many a times yeah. the parents think that yeah. chocolate khali hai, toh, phir, jada chocolate khata hai, toh, isliye worms hoote hai. Ji, nahi. Worms होते हैं हम गंदा चीज मुंह में डालते हैं या हमारा गंदा वाला हाथ मुंह में डालते हैं इसलिए worms होते हैं worms में भी आपका loose stool होने का chances है tummy pain होता है worms worms में भी loose stool होते हैं so basically worms अगर हैं तो फिर हम लोग hand hygiene का ध्यान रखेंगे worms के लिए दवाई देंगे अगर loose motion है तो उसके लिए वारस देंगे this is the best okay. another most important we shouldn't forget in this discussion regarding antibiotics in a diarrhea because many times we are seeing parents coming with antibiotics. Sir, Rat ko do bar potty hoga, hum log antibiotics de diye hain. They have not started the virus. They have started the antibiotics. Absolutely no. So my suggestion will be first and most important is virus. Second one is zinc. Zinc is the most important thing in a children. Zinc supplementation once daily. Third important is probiotic. And fourth comes with the antibiotic. If at all we diagnose it as a bacterial diarrhea or bacterial loose motion, viral and who diarrhea. Parent ko diagnose ne karna hai. Let the pediatrician or the uh, general medicine practitioner decide that. Exactly, ma'am. So, bacho ko first cheez dena hai ORS. ORS ka goal is the. Do cheez mein bataunga. ORS ka goal ka do kam hai. एक तो वो डिहाइड्रेशन को कंट्रोल करेगा दूसरा चीज है कि जो वाटर जाते हैं इंटेस्टाइन में उसको भी एब्जॉर्ब करता है तो इट्स एन थेरापटिक का भी काम होता है डिहाइड्रेशन कम करता है और वाटर एब्जॉर्ब करता है तो एक मदर अगर खाली ओआरएस भी देंगे तो उसमें 50% अच्छा हो जाएगा बच्चा 50 क्या 100% भी अच्छा हो जाएगा मेनी टाइम्स Beautifully said, sir. Dr. Ashish, one quick word about a prebiotic and a probiotic supplement uh, especially for adults. Mute yes, uh, yeah. to be used whenever indicated and whenever suggested by your doctor, not by your own uh, 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 consultation, but definitely it, it helps out. We all have a gut which is good flora like lactobacillus which helps out. So should be used whenever doctor suggests. Wonderful. So yeah, there are a lot of people who are thanking you both. Uh, Mr. Isaacs, who is supposed to be your much junior uh, from CMC Vellore, Dr. Ashish has sent your regards. And Dr. Ranjit Kumar Joshi ji, aapke liye bhi kaafi sare nice session. Thank you so much. Very important discussion. So a lot of people are uh, talking about it. And yes, uh, abuse of uh, antibiotics, sir ne bataya hai ki aap ghar pe mat lijiye. So, if one last thing that I would want to ask both of you, Nirav Patak ji has mentioned home remedies ke asar kya hota hai, especially isabgol and uh, curd relieves diarrhea, is this correct? Or uh, Dr. Ashish, if you know that Telugu communities mentulu peru, methi seeds or, uh, or dahi de dete hai, so ye in sab ko kya maina hai? Dr. Ashish? Um, yeah, now, aap kuch bahut kathin question puch rahe hai. now these all okay. things are fine in accordance with your regular physician. 
say people have forgotten this old idea of family physician they like to run to cardiologists they like to run to neurologists and all those things they all are good uh, uh, super specialities stick to your family physician take him into accordance with whatever experiment you want to do it best thing is keep watching health hour and you will get all your answers for your problems at home take a professional advice seven is available why do you want to go for all the things आपके दोनों के लिंक्स यहाँ पर हमने दिए हुए हैं इन केस दैट यू वांट टू कंसल्ट बोथ आर एक्सपर्ट्स ऑन अपोलो 24 प्लेटफॉर्म 24 सेवन प्लेटफॉर्म वी हैव लेफ्ट द लिंक्स देयर सो यू कैन डेफिनेटली कंसल्ट आर एक्सपर्ट्स डॉक्टर साहब अभी मुझे बाइंड अप करना तो पड़ेगा सो डॉक्टर आशीष यू गो फर्स्ट एज अ सीनियर ऑफ हेल्थ आई वॉन्ट टू डू समअप एंड गिव अस टॉप टिप्स इन मैनेजिंग डायरिया इन अडल्ट वेरी सिंपल माई डियर फ्रेंड्स get this spelling correctly of diarrhea d i a r r h o e a d is for dehydration watch out ko pani peena hai fruit juice lena hai tea and coffee lena hai i is for iv fluids whenever needed whenever there is an indication a is for antibiotics to be taken only whenever there is an indication as decided by your doctor r and r is rest and rehydration we have already talked about it rest is very much needed h is for it can be heart if it is diabetes it can be heart if it is an elderly it can be heart even when the person is having loose stools vomiting so make sure you get admitted before it is too late o is we have already discussed about ors you require ors to give you a proper uh, comfort during the diarrhea and o is for oxygen if you are getting breathless because loose stools vomiting do can be a cause because of virus also because of covid also so diarrhea alone may require oxygen and ors both e is msis diarrhea usually comes with vomiting so you will require antiemetics also take it before it is too late even when you are having nausea take the antiemetic uh, uh, treatment a is uh, is finally admit before it is too late short and sweet admission in any nearby hospitals and definitely take the right kind of uh, uh, you know consultation online consultation before patient becomes serious This is Dr. Ashish Chauhan, available for you at eight one zero six one two seven four seven five for all the viewers of Health Hour from Apollo two four seven. Over to you, Jansi Ma'am. Ashish, you make it so interesting every time that you appear on Health Hour. Thank you so much for being the superstar there. And Dr. Ranjit Joshi, who has been such a positive uh, uh, presence on our show, it is wonderful reacting and interacting with you, sir. Now we want your top tips in managing diarrhea for children. So regarding the most important thing is diarrhea management is the maintenance of hydration. Maintain the normal food. Baby should pass normal urination. When the baby is lethargic, not passing urine since long, then get the child admitted for IV fluids. No to antibiotics because majority of the diarrhea are viral origin which will subside by its own automatically. so maintenance of hydration giving up zinc and probiotic is the main stay up treatment regarding nutrition continue with the same diet whatever the child or the kid is taking before the diarrheal episode that will give the proper nutrition maintenance of hydration is the cornerstone of the treatment of diarrhea and you can get be better child can be get better at home with a normal home remedies with good proper dilution of ors thank you ma'am thank you jansi ma'am for a nice thank discussion and wonderful a nice wonderful time over here thank you so much for spreading so much of positivity and then it was wonderful having you with all your inputs i am dr ashish shohan ji you as usual uh, with your humor and with your uh, right time pe jo aap dalte ho na sir wo reh jata hai uska sir thank you so much for joining us thank you thank you dr ranjit thanks a lot thank you thank you for your assistance thank you for the health quiz viewers health quiz coming up please stay with us and i'm going to ask the health quiz questions while i take leave from our doctors namaskar doctors so here are uh, our health quiz rules you have to answer the questions over the youtube chat winner's name will be announced towards the end of the show and if you are declared a winner you have to write back to your contact details at marketing@apollo247.com before wednesday that is your name phone number and other email id details unless you write back to us our team will not be able to share the gift vouchers which are the health credits 
विच विल बी शेयर विथ यू तो चलिए आज के तीन क्वेश्चन डाल देते हैं आपके सामने द क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे आप ट्रू और फॉल्स में आंसर कीजिए आई बी एस इज इरिटेबल बोवल सिंड्रोम इज दैट ट्रू और फॉल्स क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फिल इन द ब्लैंक डी आई एंड रेस्ट ऑफ इट नॉर्मली लास्ट फॉर टू और थ्री डेज आज अब अभी इसी टॉपिक पर बात कर रहे थे स्पेलिंग सही टाइप कीजिएगा हाँ डी आई एन ब्लैंक फिल कीजिए प्लीज नॉर्मली लास्ट टू टू थ्री डेज आज का अगर सब्जेक्ट देखेंगे तो आपको आंसर भी मिल जाएगा क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री येस और नो में आंसर कीजिए कैन एलर्जीज टू सर्टन फूड्स कैन कॉज डायरिया येस और नो में आंसर कीजिए कैन एलर्जीज टू सर्टन फूड्स ऑल्सो कॉज डायरिया इज अ ट्रू और फॉल्स तो चलिए ये आपके क्वेश्चंस के लिए मैं आंसर्स के लिए मैं वेट करूंगी लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद आर हेल्थ कूपॉन्स थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस दिस संडे मॉर्निंग ऑन अपोलो ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन वी आर गिविंग यू a health coupon which you can use on apollo 247 app download the app and you can use this code ask doc 150 ask doc 150 to get up to 150 rupees cash back on online doctor consultation you can consult top doctors direct from apollo hospitals and when you consult our experts you can consult dr ashish chohan or dr ranjit kumar joshi on apollo 247 and you can also avail ask doc 150 to get the 150 rupees cash back and the next coupon we are giving you away today is first 3 f i r s t 3 use this code to get up to 25% off on online medicine orders and you must be knowing when you order it from apollo 247 you also get your medicines delivered and get two hours uh, delivery as well so this is uh, there are certain uh, terms and conditions applying to this like orders of first three orders of value above 1000 rupees or so So this is first three. Get up to one. Uh, get up to twenty-five percentage off on online medicine orders. Next, we are giving away exclusively to our health our viewers. Use the code HH two four seven to get one ninety nine off on online consultations with Apollo doctors, and also twenty percent off on medicine orders. And this is in exclusive in exclusively for HR health our viewers. And in addition to the other coupons that we had given away earlier, and also you can order your medicines and tests on WhatsApp. Which is more convenient these days. So Apollo twenty four seven ki jo bhi services hai aapke, aap text pe use kar sakte ho, ya WhatsApp kar sakte ho. Zero nine three double five two four seven two four seven is the number. Avail the healthcare services. Make sure that you have the entire Apollo in your hand just by downloading the app. So, agle hafte ham baat karne wale hain. Kafi interesting subject hai. Kidney stones ke baare mein baat karne wale hain. Or ye aapne suna hoga, ye myth hai ya fact hai, ye discuss karenge. can consuming beer the alcoholic beer really cure kidney stones ye myth hai ya fact hai kya hai ye to kidney stones ke bare mein aapke jitne bhi doubts hai please oh, welcome we you will answer all your queries and questions on the next week's health hour and also you know how to join us you have to join us on uh, youtube channel or facebook page you can like subscribe and share our youtube channel so that you get lot of information lot of talk. live session ke sath aapko kaafi baki aur bhi experts ke sath information milegi do like and subscribe and share apollo 247's youtube channel as well while i am waiting for our winners well our winners are here uh, shevi man abhishek khaitan and ramya nagraj i repeat shevi man abhishek khaitan ramya nagraj ye aapke ये हफ्ते के विनर्स हैं एंड यू हैव टू राइट बैक टू अस बिफोर वेडनेसडे ऑफ दिस वीक सो दैट वी कैन शेयर ऑल योर हेल्थ क्रेडिट्स टू योर अकाउंट थैंक यू सो मच ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर जॉइनिंग अस ऑन दिस अपोलो 247 हेल्थ आर वी शैल सी यू नेक्स्ट वीक विद किडनी स्टोन्स एज अ सब्जेक्ट विद आवर एक्सपर्ट्स नमस्कार